Welcome folks, nice to see you on this Tuesday lunchtime. Well, welcome to all the ladies on the phones. As usual, the words for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, the hints, details are there also. Awesome. The peace of Christ be with us all. Shall we say together? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. Today's psalm is Psalm 143, Psalm 143. O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I mediate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched man. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit faints with longing. Do not hide your face from me, for I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I will lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for I hide myself from you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Shall we say the prayer that Jesus taught us? The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever. Amen. We continue through Mark's Gospel, and now in Mark 11, reading from verse 11, 1 to 11, please. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you'll find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this, tell him. The Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. We went and found a colt outside in the street, 
tied the kadori. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing? And tying that coat. They answered that Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the coat to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut from the field. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went to Bethany with the twelve. Shall we pray together? Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers as we may in his name. We'll now have a time of silent prayer, where you can pray for the things which are on your heart. We pray in silence. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands, all people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask, and do not allow us to be slow in answering your call. We serve you in love and sacrifice to the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who at the last through wood and nails purchased our salvation, we will dwell your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thank you, G. God, for listening to our prayers again today. Hopefully, we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.